So, you've probably been to Japanese restaurants and your favorite sashimi or your favorite sushi is salmon. And uh, you came home and you're really hungry and you're craving your salmon sushi, salmon sashimi, and you're wondering, can you make salmon sashimi or salmon sushi at home? And the answer is absolutely yes. And you can make it with the cheapest salmon that you can get. Um, over here, I'm using the Costco farmed Atlantic salmon. And personally, I think this is the safest salmon to use because this is farm raised, usually farm raised salmon. If you eat it raw, it has less chance of having parasite. And this one is from Norway. Um, also, those salmons are actually in the freezer section. So when uh, usually when you want to make your own sashimi at home, you want to have your fish frozen for at least two weeks. And usually with those uh, salmons uh, that they sell at Costco, you know, the bagged salmons, they come in pieces and they're pre-packaged into small sections. So it's like perfect for a single serving. I got one serving out. Basically, you keep this in the fridge, and uh, when you need to, when you want to eat your sashimi, take one out overnight. The next uh, next evening, uh, it should be well thawed, and you can make it your salmon sashimi with you know with this uh, packaged salmon from Costco. I'm just gonna show you guys how to quickly prepare it. And we're going to also make some wasabi to go with your salmon sashimi. And it's going to be very simple, very basic, however, very delicious. Okay, so let's get started. So when you have your salmon nicely thawed, uh, we're going to take it out of the packaging. And keep in mind, this is the Costco's farm-raised Atlantic salmon um, in the freezer section of the seafood area. So once we get it out, we want to just wash it thoroughly, okay, with clean water. Once you finish washing them, we're gonna get it very dry, pat dry with a paper towel. Because when the salmon is dry, it tastes, it gives it more flavor. If it's wet, all you can taste is probably just water. So by the way, I used to work at a sushi restaurant um, making sashimis and all kinds of different rolls. And it's their salmon is definitely slightly better quality than this. However, this will get your cravings uh, crunched in, in a pinch. And it's very, it's very economic. So this salmon is about, uh, I think, $9 per pound, which is a going price for any kind of good quality salmon. Uh, when you have it patted dry, all you have to do is just cut it nicely and uh, all different kinds of shape. You can cube it. When you cube it, you can make a quick poke bowl with your salmon. And basically, I'm just going to eat sashimi style. So I'm just going to, you know, cut it in pieces. Make sure your knife is fairly sharp so it makes a nice and clean cut. And you can cut it thick, you can cut it thin, whichever way you like. For me, just this is this is the thickness I like. Slightly thinner than what they usually offer at the sushi restaurants. Um, however, it, it's great because it gives you the maximum area when later on you want to dip it into a soy sauce and wasabi mix. You can do that just very nicely. So over here, I have my uh, avocado with salt and pepper. So I'm on a keto diet. So this is uh, perfect for keto, by the way. I'm actually just going to lay my salmon on the side over here. That's all I'm going to eat um, tonight for dinner. If you want your presentation to be nice, take your time, prepare it. Uh, for me, it's been a long day. I'm just going to quick and dirty. And here you go. So you can see for nine, not this is not even nine, this is like a couple dollars, probably two dollars for a nice chunk of salmon that you can eat. Fairly fresh, uh, kept frozen, so it's safe to eat as a sushi or sashimi. 
look at that looks great so for my dressing all i'm using is a soy sauce uh from lee kim key let's see let's see can i show you guys so this is the brand i use very good soy sauce non-gmo and no preservatives okay you don't want the soy sauce that's that had caramel color added that one is actually for other cooking methods this one is fresh soy sauce uh very good soy sauce and a tube of wasabi paste so my favorite is s and b wasabi uh, this is prepared wasabi in a tube basically you squeeze it out and it's ready to use okay i prepared a small bowl uh, you can get this from any asian supermarkets any asian supermarkets japanese markets for sure but even chinese markets you should be able to find those so let's get started very very simple very very easy okay this wasabi by the way super super spicy so if you like spicy you can squeeze a lot but even for me i like spicy and i couldn't even handle the spiciness of this wasabi it's like the real stuff okay so you squeeze a little bit you get some soy sauce pour a generous amount in here and you just mix with the chopstick until it's nicely mixed and this is your traditional Japanese wasabi dressing okay and all those you can make at home with no effort at all so pretty much three ingredients you need the wasabi you need the soy sauce and you need your salmon which you can get from Costco for a really good price at nine dollars per pound it's it's very good quality salmon okay and it's very safe to eat when it's when it comes time to eat all right so let's give it a give it a try let's see if i can put my camera over here get a nice view right here and you can dip it in the sauce man Honestly, this salmon is actually pretty fatty, which is uh, which gives it like a lot more flavor. Uh, definitely, definitely, I'm enjoying this at home, and you can have it anytime for practically probably two dollars um, worth of materials. And I'm gonna also enjoy my avocado. By the way, this is a great combination. You eat a piece of avocado and then you eat salmon. It actually enhances the taste of the salmon. For sure. So good. Man. So, I'm going to finish enjoying my food. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you so much. I hope you can make some uh, good sashimi at home for yourself. And uh, please do hit the like button if you found this video helpful, uh, which encourages me to make more videos for you guys. Thank you again and uh, take care.